all over again with your eyes. Okay, up and down. Look at my hand again, please. And on the side, look at my hand again. Okay, let me look in your ear. I'm just going to take this device and I'm just going to look in your ear and just you have a lot of wax. You could definitely do it with an ear cleaning. Okay, I'm gonna put it by your knee. Okay. Put it by your knee. I'm gonna put it up by your head. Oh, hello there. Hello. 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 How are you doing today? Oh, who am I? I'm your doctor today. I'm your certified floor doctor that they sent to give you an exam. They didn't tell you that I was coming? Okay, well, no need to worry. I'm a certified floor doctor from Doctorville University. Yes, I work specifically on the floor. And I work in specializing in the knees, the legs, the feet, things like that. And since you have a knee injury, I'm here to go look at it. Oh, I hope you don't mind all of my little assistants in the back. They are observing today, okay? Yeah, they're observing to see if they can learn anything new. Yeah, I've trained them all myself. Mm -hmm. Of course, at Doctorville University. Yes. So today I'm going to be... Let me see. What knee is it that hurts? Okay, your left knee. You have an injury. Okay, you think you might have sprained it. We'll see about that, but we're going to look at it. That is why they called me, of course. No need to worry. You are in good hands. I am absolutely an expert. Mm -hmm. So let me see. What we're going to do is a regular physical exam. I just want to check some of your vitals. And then after that, I'm going to give you a cranial nerve exam on your knee. On your knee. On your knee. After that, I will see if there's anything wrong with it and anything that I can suggest. We'll see any treatments that I would like to suggest, any medications, anything like that. But it really depends on what's wrong with your knee. Okay, perfect. Now, let me just write a few things down before we begin. Just one moment, boo-boo, okay? Okay, so what is your name? I know I should already know that as the doctor, but I just need to write it down again. Okay your last name, boo-boo? And do you have any boo-boos? And what knee did you say it is again? Your left knee. Let me write that down. And do you have a girlfriend? Or are you married? Okay. Interesting. Okay, very, very interesting. And where were you yesterday at 2 p.m.? Oh, that's so weird. I thought I saw you there. You were at the grocery store. Is that when the incident occurred? Okay. So I think you sprained your knee at the grocery store. Okay, did you trip over anything? Okay, you tripped over a small child. Are they okay? All right, I'm just checking. Because you were trying to get the last powdered donuts. Interesting. Let me just let me just write that all down in your chart, boo boo. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna begin our exam in just one moment. So before we begin, I'm gonna need you to put this mask on. Um, no. No actual medical reason, but your breath is a little bit stinky, and I just don't really want to smell it. I hope that's okay. And I'm going to put my gloves on, of course, since I'm going to be touching you. Touching you, touching you, touching you, touching you. Mm -hmm. Just one moment. And I'm just going to begin checking your vitals. Mm -hmm. Now let me just begin. Let me just look at your face. Just want to touch your face. I'm going to start with your face. Okay, 
Okay, your shoulders, arms, okay, your knee. <laughs> Please let me know if you have any pain anywhere. Just gonna... Okay. Right here. You have pain right here. Right here. Alright, so that makes sense, obviously. It's your knee, but let me see. Do you have any pain in your face? Okay, you said your head is a little sore too. Maybe when you tripped, you also hit your head. Do you think that's possible? I think so. Just touch you. Let me touch. Let me touch. Right here. So it's like right here. It's like right here. Right here. Okay. So your knee here. Your head here. Sorry, my gloves can sound a little farty sometimes. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. Okay, you don't, right, boo boo? Okay, perfect. So, let's begin the exam. First, I'm going to take this stethoscope and just put it on your chest. I want you to breathe. I want you to breathe. Ready? Okay. It might be a little bit cold. Prepare yourself. Breathe in and out. In and out. One more time. In. And out. Okay. Now, your heartbeat is a little fast, but any chance are my assistants making you nervous? Okay, you don't need to worry about them. They're just observing, okay? There's nothing to worry about, okay? They're professionals. They are professionals and they are observing you, okay? So please do not worry. Do not worry. Do not worry. Let's see what else. Now I have this laser temperature device. I'm just going to take your temperature. How are you feeling? Are you feeling unwell at all? No, it's just the pain in your knee and a little bit on your head, a little bruise. Okay, take this and just... Oh, temperature is very, very abnormal. Oh, sorry. That's actually Celsius. Okay, I was reading it as Fahrenheit, but it's normal reading it as Fahrenheit, but it is, it is Celsius. It is 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, we got that right. Okay, now let's see. Let's take your blood pressure. Please put your arm out. I'm going to take this arm. Pull your sleeve. Pull your sleeve. Velcro. And deep breaths, please. Try not to be nervous by my assistant. Okay. They are professional. Don't worry. Okay, and I'm going to go pump, pump, pump. Pump, pump, pump. Ready? Okay, let me read it. Yeah, blood pressure is looking a little bit high, to be honest. But I think it might be your diet. I don't think it's related to the injury. Like I said, you have to eat more vegetables. You should see that the injury... Tripping over a small child to eat the last powdered donut was just not, not the best thing to do. And I think that shows that you need to work on your health a little bit more. Okay, so make sure that you eat vegetables. It's very important. If you want, I can supply you with a pamphlet of the food chart. Just the one. So here is the food chart and what you need to eat. You need to eat a balanced diet. So you need to eat healthy meals, healthy meals. You can look through this little pamphlet yourself. Balanced diet. See, we got some broccoli. We got some soup. We got some corn. Cucumbers, rice. We need greens, vegetables, proteins, dairy, all of that. And then a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of junk food. Only a little bit. You need to limit your junk food intake. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put this right over here for you. Mm -hmm. Now, let me see what we're going to do next. I'm going to need you to take this cup and make a little wee in it, okay? And then we're going to just test that. Yeah, just to see if you can doing anything, you know, illegal. So take this. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. All right, I will take this and send it out to the lab for a test. I'm just going to put it right over here. Perfect. Now, let me see what else we are going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to look in your mouth. Let me take my popsicle stick. Popsicle stick. 
in my life. I'm gonna shine a bright light on you in one moment. I hope that's okay. Is that okay with you? Okay, well, I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna take this, open your mouth, go, ah, uh, okay, open your mouth, go, ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm gonna look in, look in. Your tonsils are a little bit swollen. What? You had your tonsils removed? That's weird because they're still in your throat. So either you're lying or the doctor lied to you and did something else during the surgery. Yeah, don't know. Where do you have that done? Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit sketchy to be honest. Um, you do have your tonsils though, so you might want to get a full body scan just to check on all of that. Let me see. Let me look in your eyes. Let me look in your eyes. I want you to follow the line with your eyes, ready? Follow the line with your eyes. And I'm gonna go a little faster, ready? Look on this side, look at the line. Okay, look at my hand, look at my hand. Look at my hand, boo boo. Look at my hand, follow it back here. Don't look at the light, look at my hand. Look. Okay, now look at this hand. Did you see this hand? Look at this hand. Show this line in your eye. Look at my hand. Okay, I'm gonna show the line in the center. Follow it again with your eyes. Okay, up and down. Look at my hand again, please. And on the side, look at my hand again. Okay, let me look in your ear. I'm just going to take this device and I'm just going to look in your ear and just... Oh, okay, you have a lot of wax. You could definitely do it in ear cleaning. Okay, I think you definitely need ear cleaning. Let me just take your ear and... There we go. I've got your ear here, so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to... Yeah, you have all these really interesting tattoos. What are these tattoos? They have pressure points in your ear. Interesting. Okay, okay. Okay, to each their own. Yeah, I don't know if that's a real thing, but to each their own. Just clean your ear. Clean your ear out and then I'll put it back and I'll take your other ear. This is your ear heart, your ear lung, your ear trachea. Yeah, that totally makes up to your tongue. Each pressure point. Okay. Clean up your ear. Mm -hmm. All right, put this one back. And let me take your other ear. Ready? Got it. Let's clean this one out just a little bit. Get some of the wax out, okay? It's okay. Just get some of the wax out here. Right here. Okay, your ear appendix. Ear appendix. Ear appendix. And then we're gonna Okay, your ear is looking a lot more clean now. Let me see. Let me shine this in. Alright, just inspect this. Alright, we're gonna put this back. There we go. Your ears are back. Mm-hmm. Now, can I ask, have you tried any herbal remedies yet for your knee? Okay, well, I have this plant that you might want to take with you. And I heard that if you rub the leaf on your knee, you can feel better. Yeah, don't ask how I know that, but I think it's worth a try before I diagnose you. So, here, you can take this and just put that right on your knee. Just rub that on your knee. Up, do you feel any better? No. Okay, then I will continue to inspect you. I will continue to inspect you. Let's see what else we have here. Now I'm going to be doing a hearing test to see if your cranial nerve was affected from your knee injury. You know, the knee can be connected to the brain, so we want to test that out. I have this tuning fork here. Do you know what this is? This is a tuning fork. It's a tuning fork. 
and tins. I'm just going to make a little ding, 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 and I want you to tell me what ear it is in. Okay, can you do that? Ready? Okay, I'm gonna put it by your knee. Okay. I'm gonna put it up by your head. One more time. Okay, what side? And what side? Okay, so you don't have any hearing in your knee, obviously, but it seems like the hearing in your ears are fine. Everything is normal. Everything is normal. No need to worry. You might just have a little boo-boo on your knee. Okay, now I'm going to test your feeling on your knee. So let me take this and test your reflexes. I'm going to go... Okay, let me test it one more time. You said that hurt? Okay. One more time. Okay, let me test on this side. Let me test your elbow. Let me test on the side. Let me test your head. Mm -hmm. Your temple. Your nose. Your lips. Okay, your belly. Okay, so it seems like the only pain that you have is in your knee, your left knee. I think your head is okay. I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna do some further tests on your knee. I'm gonna take this device, this little device that I just used to clean your ear. It has multi-uses. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put each side. I'm either gonna do the soft side or the hard side. And I want you to tell me if it's soft or hard. Are you ready? I'm gonna put it on your knee, okay? Ready? Soft or hard? Okay. Soft or hard? Mm -hmm. Couple more times. Soft or hard? Soft or hard? Soft or hard? And soft or hard? Okay, let me try on this side, softer heart. I'm just gonna check your on your knee just because. Okay, softer heart. And here, softer heart. Can you feel that? You can. What about here? Softer heart and softer heart. Here. And here. Okay, perfect. So I think it's just your knee giving you issues, but I'm just gonna check your smell right now as well. Okay, so I have these sharpies. Unfortunately, that's all I have. We're out of our other scents, so I have these sharpies, but they are all special scented sharpies. So I'm just gonna take the sharpie. By the way, what color is this? Okay, what color is this? And what color is this? Yes, brown, blue, green. So I'm going to take the green sharpie and sniff. What color? Okay, it's green, obviously. What's the scent? Wrong, it is kiwi. Kiwi, 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 kiwi. Okay, I'm going to draw a mustache. Now, next set, what is this? Ready? What is this set? Blueberry, you got that one right. I'm gonna give you some dots. Blueberry. Mm -hmm. And last one. What side is this? 
Okay, that is gross. Does it smell that bad? It is not. It's chocolate. Oh my god. You need to chill. Well, I would say that your scent is for the most part working, so I don't think anything was affected by that. Now, let me see. We're just gonna test your color scent one more time. So, you see this? What color is this? Okay, look at the green, look at the green. And you see this? What color is this? Orange? Okay, look at the green light. Look at the orange light. What color is this? Blue. What color is this green again? Okay, this is only green apparently. And what color is this? Also green. Green. And what color is this? Purple or pink? Okay, look at the pink. Look at the pink. Look at the green. Look at the pink. And look at the pink. And look at the green. Follow the green light with your eyes. Do you see the green light? Follow it with your eyes. It's the only light, obviously. Follow it with your eyes. Okay. And let me see what else. Can you just quickly read this for me, please? What letter is this? Okay, what letter is this? I'm gonna put it all the way back here. What letter is this? Okay, you can't read it. Do you wear glasses? You normally wear glasses, but you lost them when you tripped. Okay, that makes sense. Well, you're gonna have to get some new glasses. It's clearly, and you can't read this. All the way here. I'll put it up here. All right, you can read up close, but not far away. Now, it is time to diagnose your knee. Don't worry, you're not gonna need a knee replacement. You need to chill out. You just have a little injury. You just have a little boo-boo-boo. So I'm just going to take this medicine and put it right in your knee. Okay, and that's gonna go numb. And you won't have any more pain, ready? And a little bit more. And a little bit more. Perfect. And then I need you to take this medicine. Good. And take this medicine. Good. And take this medicine. Good. And take this medicine. Good. Trust me, you need to take all this medicine. And take this medicine. And take this medicine. Okay, good. And now you can rinse if you want. Here we go. Good. Now let me put a little ointment on your knee. Hmm. Can I take this? Sorry, I know I just put it on your face. I had to put it on your knee. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. All right, so let me just write a few things down for your treatment plan. Yes, you're gonna be in the hospital for about three days, but you'll be fine. A little boo boo, it's just a little boo boo. A little boo boo. Okay, there we go. I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks for letting me I give you an exam. Okay, you're gonna feel better soon. Just stick to the treatment plan and listen to the nurses and do what they say, and you're gonna be fine. Okay, perfect. 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 Have an amazing night. Yes, yeah, so one of the medications that I gave you is to help you fall asleep. So you should be going to sleep in five, four, three, two, one. Good night.